Bundling and kidding is the fourth type of profit maximizer. And while it doesn't apply to all businesses, it's really a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorites. And if you're in a business or in a market that is selling a lot of commodity items, bundling and kidding is one of the ways that you can decommoditize a product or a service. Let me show you an example. What you see here is the Maricor long handled chrome safety razor. So this is one of those old school razors that if you don't use it quite right, you know, you'll like cut a major artery and like, you know, and, and things get bad really, really quickly. So this sells right now on Amazon for $30 and 52 cents. But if you go and look for, you know, chrome safety razors, you're going to see these things all over the place. It's kind of a commodity item. And so how do you do this? If you're a brand, you know, branding is one way to decommoditize a commodity item. So if you happen to be Maricor and you've been in the shaving business since, I don't know, probably since definitely long before, probably before my great, great, great grandfather even had whiskers. If, if you've been in there, if you're made in Germany, if you've got all this great stuff going for you and you've got a brand, then hey, awesome. You know, maybe you can rise above the rest, but what do you do if you don't? What do you do if you have a great product, but it is commoditized and you're just getting started. Your brand isn't as effective. Well, what you do is you bundle. You bundle and you create kits. So check out this example. I said, this is the Maricor long handled chrome safety razor that sells for $30 and 52 cents. What you see here, however, is the five piece Colonel Conk chrome shaving men's grooming set. Whew, I'll say that again one more time. Just just see if I can. The five piece Colonel Conk chrome shaving men's grooming set. So this is not a razor. This is a grooming set. Do you see the difference? You know, which just look at the two, which one has a higher perceived value? Now, which one has a higher actual value? The razor alone, $30 and 52 cents. The five piece set, $112. Now, interestingly enough, both of them have the exact same razor. The exact same razor, same Maricor here, Maricor here. My guess is that this person is just wholesaling them. Now, I don't know what their wholesale cost is. Let's say it's 15 bucks. Let's say they got a keystone rate and keystone pricing on this. So they're paying 15 bucks if Maricor is selling it for, for 30. Let's just say it's probably not even that good, but let's just say all the other items in here, there's a Chrome stand, there's a little brush, there's a Chrome bowl. Those are free. Uh, there's soap. Everything else that you see in this set is remarkably, and I mean remarkably inexpensive. Remarkably inexpensive. We actually took the time because we do a fair bit of, of importing and sourcing. We took the time to go and look at this and domestically, domestically, without even having to go to, to China and order in volume, you're looking at anywhere from, depending on the quality that you go with, anywhere from 12 to $18 for all of these pieces. If we were to actually go and, and source it all ourselves, we could probably get that cut in half. Okay. So let's say this person is spending 20 bucks for the set. Let's say they're spending $30. Let's say they're buying Maricor razors at retail cost. So they're spending 30 bucks for the razor, spending 20 bucks for everything else because they don't know how to buy. They have a $50 cost, $112. They have a six, they have a, um, yeah, they have a $62 profit, a $62 profit because they bundled, because they created a set, because they created a kit. So this is one way you can do it. You can bundle um, very high margin items with lower margin items. You have your lower margin items there to, uh, so that you can leverage the brand so that you can, you know, really elevate the package as a whole. I don't believe this would be as effective if it didn't come with a genuine made in Germany, Maricor razor. So you can use it to, to bundle in that way. High margin items with low margin items. You can also use it to bundle digital products with physical products. Uh, so there's someone out there selling a pedometer, which is one of the things where you can, you know, walk around and it, and it measures all the different steps that you take. Well, there's lots of people selling a pedometer. Pedometers are commodities. Check on Amazon. They're all over Amazon. But while lots of people are trying to sell pedometers and trying to explain why their pedometer is better than another pedometer, although they're all just counting steps, someone else was smart and they said, you know what, I'm going to create the walk yourself thin kit, a walk yourself thin kit of which uh, there was videos and training and a diet guide and all these other digital things that are crazy high margin. They're digital, you know, a membership site, all this stuff. You get your virtual coach and a pedometer, right? 
and a pedometer. Everybody else is selling pedometers for five, 10, 20 bucks. They were able to sell the set for over $50, right? Same pedometer and everything else is incredibly, incredibly high margin, right? So how can we combine those to build not just real, not just perceived value, but real value, right? If you're going to buy one of these razors, it'd be nice to have a stand. It'd be nice to have a brush. It'd be nice to have all this stuff. It's not just perceived value. It's real value that speaks to the actual desired end result of a market. If you're buying this type of razor, you're not buying this type of razor because it just makes a better shave. I mean, that maybe is what you're telling yourself, but come on. I mean, it's got a single, it, it's terrifying. You're buying it because you want the set. You want to be the guy that's got this. You want to show that you don't just have the ordinary, you know, Schick razor, or Gillette or whatever. You've got the fancy pants one. Same thing. If you're buying a pedometer, you're not buying a pedometer because you're just curious about the number of steps you take on a given day. No, you're buying a pedometer because you want to lose weight. You probably want to get in some type of fitness program as it relates to walking. So having a pedometer in a walk yourself thin program, kit, set, that makes sense. And not only is there perceived value, there's actual value because it speaks to the true intent, the true desired end result of the market. All right, one more example. Uh, we had another client that we worked with who they, they sold NFL licensed merchandise. NFL licensed merchandise. So the problem with selling NFL licensed merchandise is the margins are incredibly tight. You think about it, you've got the teams that are earning a royalty. You've got the league that's earning a royalty. You've got the cost of the item itself. There's a whole lot of hands in the cookie jar. And so this person had a great site. They got a lot of traffic. Their sales were strong, but their margins were nothing. So what we did is we started creating kits and bundles for them. We created, for example, the ultimate tailgaters kit. Right, so you got a bunch of NFL licensed merchandise, but we also threw in, you know, some some other things that that were higher margin items. But my favorite, my favorite was the man cave starter kit, the man cave starter kit. So if you're a guy and you want to, you know, have your basement blinged out with your favorite team stuff, had all the NFL licensed merchandise, but we bundled it in where we got our margin was through pictures of the stadium, licensed pictures of stadiums from a photographer, you don't have to do NFL licensing and all that, print it out on a, do a beautiful print, frame it up nicely. The margin is gigantic because the value is gigantic, especially when put in with the kit. So this requires a little bit of creativity. It requires a little bit of thought, but if you could think, okay, I've got this great item, but it's low margin, think to the desired end result. What do they want? What are the other things that they need that you could bundle in and create a one-stop shop, create a total package? If you do that, you can decommoditize a commodity and you can elevate the overall value, both perceived and actual, and also elevate your profit margin in the process.